Hello YouTube. This is another tutorial from QAZ WSX2541. Um, this tutorial will be covering how to add background music to your menu. Um, if you if you saw the other tutorials on how to make a menu, uh, this is this is where you're at right now. Otherwise, you can ha you might have something similar. So we've got our whole menu thing here. You know, it's it's cool and all. Next, what we're gonna do is we want sound for this menu because most menus on a game do have sound. So we're gonna start out by first adding a new scene up here. We're gonna click Add New, and in this drop-down menu, you're, we're gonna select Empty. Okay, in this new empty scene, you're gonna press spacebar, add mesh plane. Um, just because it's a, a simple shape, no, nothing complex. Now, we're gonna add an, a sensor, a controller, and an actuator. And we're gonna just wire all three of those up. Now, the sensor is going to be an always sensor. The controller is going to be an AND controller. Then the actuator over here will be a sound actuator. And notice that you have nothing right now. So, after that, rename this scene up here. Rename it Sound. Switch back to your menu. Then, add a sensor, add a controller, and add an actuator. The sensor will be an always sensor. And the actuator over here is going to be a scene actuator. Now this scene actuator, instead of restart, we're going to click on that. And from the menu, we're going to select add background scene. Now this here is where we're going to type in the name of whatever the other scene is we want to add, in this case sound. So just type in there, sound. Okay then. So now, this always sensor, which will run one time, is going to add a background scene behind this one. It's going to add the scene sound. Since sound has no camera, it won't even show any images. So we don't have to worry about you seeing a plane there. Now, so now we need to actually put the sound into Blender. So then, this here is render buttons. And from this here is what it'll look like when you first switch there, or what it should look like. Up here, you're going to switch to the sound buttons, just right there. And right now I already have one in and everything. But if you were to select a new one, you have to do right here, there's a drop down menu. Select open new. And here I have a couple of sounds that I already did. All of the sounds have to be in wave format. So if you have like an MP3 song, you can find some sort of audio file converter or something like that to um, some sort of audio converter to convert that from mp3 to WAV. But for Blender to work properly, it needs to be a WAV file. So like, uh, this here is one I used for a recent game. Um, it's a simulation I'm making, and so it was a, a pretty nice background sound. Okay, so now, once you have done that, once you did open new, you select the file, and you do select wave file, you should be able to press play here, and it should play the song. Now, we're going to go to the sound scene, and in the game logic, right here at sound, you're going to select 
the sound you just added. Now here where it says play stop, we're going to do loop end. And that'll basically just play a loop over and over and over again, which is normally good for a background on a menu. So then, we now now we should have it so that whenever you start the game on the menu scene, it will add the background scene sound and sound the plane will always add the looping sound. So then it should be able to um so then it should be able to play the sound if you play the game. And yes, it does. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the other scenes. Because also you'll notice that if we play the game and switch to one of the other scenes, the music continues playing. Which can be a good thing, but normally isn't. So what we're going to do is switch to the other scenes here. Select, the, uh, select a main object. Um, doesn't have to be anything special. And you're going to add a sensor, a controller, and an actuator. The sensor will be an always. And the actuator will be a scene actuator. And you're going to set this one to remove, remove scene. And you're going to type in the name sound. So basically what's happening is, whenever you go to the menu scene, it adds the scene sound in the background. Whenever you switch to one of these others, it will get rid of the scene sound. And so it stops the sound then, whenever you go into the levels or whatever. Now, if you're making a settings menu, an options menu, you know, a help menu, something like that, Normally you want the sound to continue playing, and that's why adding a background scene is so much better than having the menu itself play it. Because then you can have it play through all of the sub-menus and everything like that. So just do the same thing you did with the first one to all of these others. And then... After you get that done, you should have a menu that plays the sound in the background until you go to another scene and then it stops it now let's test this out and see what happens and yes it works um... thank you for watching I know it was a sort of short tutorial, but I, I really hope this helps anybody out there wondering how to do this. Please, I beg of you right now to please comment, give me suggestions on how I could do better, because I really want to do I really want to do a good job at helping others understand Blender the way I do, because once you get to know it, it's a really simple program to use and you can do some really complex things with it but if I am being confusing, if I am being boring, if I am if there are negatives of my tutorials please point it out because I really want to do a good job at this I don't want to be awful at it um, so comment and uh, I really thank my first subscriber, you know, you rock, thanks a lot, and uh, see you in the next tutorial.